Hey, it's Greg from Bureaucracy here. Um, I'm wearing my awesome Tuatara 3D glasses. Mike from Tuatara sent them to me uh, as a condition for the uh, beautiful bottle he sent me of Tuatara Double Trouble right here. Um, so he's asked me to do the video wearing them. Strange request, but I will. Um, he's also sent me this beautiful, look at this, this awesome uh, Tuatara bottle opener. I haven't seen one of these. All the Wellington people who watch this, or both of you, are probably sitting there going, yeah, pff, so common. But hey, I don't have one. Now I do. Um, anyway, look at this bottle. This thing is a work of art, even without the goggles on. Well, actually, to be fair, without the goggles on, it's kind of messy. It gets kind of blurry and you're not sure what you're looking at. But when you put them on, you get this 3D hop field with the text jumping out in front of you. Uh, I'm going to read the back of this, this bottle. Calling Double Trouble a hop showcase might imply that this brutal 167 IBU monster has your best interests at heart. If your answer to their question, how much hopping would you like, is simply more, this is a beer that will make you care for what you wish for. The malt base and Chico yeast together construct the perfect platform for stunning multiple editions of so many hop varieties no mere beer label could hope to list them all. Impressive. Your overwhelmed taste buds will know the feeling. It contains 4.6 standard drinks. That's just for our government overlords. Right. Enough prattle, let's crack this baby. I love the little tuatara on the on the bottle cap. You don't get much better than that. I don't know if you can see that, maybe. Nah, too hard. Um, right, I'm gonna pour some of this out. I love that sound. Also, Mike, I'm sorry, I might have to pop the glasses off to admire the colour properly for a minute, but I promise I'll put them back. Oh, look at that. Nice golden colour. You know, beautiful, rich gold, thick, creamy head. That's what I like to see in a beer. Right, goggles going back on. I'm a man who keeps a promise. Okay, let's drink this bad boy. Oh, now Mike tells me this was brewed in July and that he wished I could have tasted it fresher. Now I was, uh, I don't know where I was in July, we had a keg on at House on Hood I believe. Um, I didn't get any of it, it must be the first time I've missed one of the uh, beer launch there in forever. Um, I also missed it at Beervana, I don't know what I was doing or thinking, but... Oh, it's clearly missing out. Um, I can't believe that this has hung around since July. It still smells amazingly good. I'm getting lemon, lemon curds too. Um, bit of orange, maybe a bit of almond icing. Um, oh, there's so much going on in there. I, I, it's sort of a. Um, I don't have the right words. Ah, I'll drink it. I'll come back to that later. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. Now, the problem I often have with double IPAs is that they can get quite sickly and quite syrupy. Um, this one is not like that. The, the malt is a light cushion that just dances over your palate. Um, the hops then settle in. Um, they are intense, but without being sickly. Um, it actually, intense is exactly the right word. Man, there's just so much piling onto my palate still. Uh, that um, lemon curd note I spoke of in the aroma is really coming through strong. Um, there's also a real pine cone resin note, which is typical of American hops. Um, Oh, it's just, yeah, if I'm, if I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's a lot of Columbus and Chinook in there, but um, now Mike will probably go, no, you're wrong, you're an idiot, and completely blow my tasting credentials, such as they are. Um, that is awesome. For people who might see this sitting on the shelves and think, well, double IPA, you know, I've seen the warnings on bottles of Pliny the Elder, drink it straight away. 
I agree. Um, the just the stew, fresh is best. But in this case, this is fine. This is amazing. Buy a bottle, take it home, crack it open, drink it. Drink it with people you love and toast the times that you will have after drinking several of them. Because, yeah, let's face it, it's 9%. If you have a few, you're going to have some interesting adventures. But I like interesting adventures. This is great. Right, a short. this has been a short review today. I was hoping to do two beer reviews, but um, the second uh, bottle being sent to me was Damaged in Transit. Uh, that's uh, Yakima Scarlet from Joseph Wood at Liberty. Looking forward to trying that next time, I hope. <laughs> anyway, if not, we'll have something else crazy for you. And possibly a live, uh, a live outside broadcast from Wonder Horse, uh, Hamilton's newest cocktail bar with craft beer on tap. Alright, that's been me. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope it wasn't too painful. Cheers in 3D.